Hello, welcome to Salesforce Break. Today we are going to build event triggered flows together. Now we have a wonderful use case to be able to illustrate the functionality. Now we want to send out surveys to our customers whenever they close a case with us. We want to also send out surveys when they complete an address change with us. Let's say the address on the contact has been changed. We can also set up other rules on different objects to send out surveys to these customers randomly. Like a subset of the customers who have completed that transaction meets the criteria will receive a survey. Now in a normal scenario, we would actually have to set up separate and multiple record triggered flows to be able to do this. Because record triggered flows don't support subflows at this point, we would have to actually replicate and build the functionality of sending out the surveys themselves multiple times. But in this case, what we can do is we can set up multiple record triggered flows to define the rules when the survey is going to go to the customers. And we can set up a single flow, event triggered flow, to send out the survey itself. And to be able to do this, we would actually publish a custom platform event from all those record triggered flows. And we would subscribe and listen to that platform event from our event triggered flow. And we will trigger the email to be sent out to our customers. Let's go into the details and build the flow together, shall we? To implement this use case, uh, we first need to create a platform event. Custom platform events can be created in setup. You search for platform, go to platform events, and then you click on new platform event. It's very similar to creating a custom object. Think of your platform events uh, like custom objects that are not saved in your database. So the platform events are created, uh, subscribed to, consumed, and then they vanish. So I created already a survey event and uh, in the survey event, I have created a couple of fields. One of them is the contact ID email, first name and last name, and all these field values are going to be used for the person we are going to send the survey to. So let's look at our flows. So we have two flows that are relevant here. Um, one is going to be our record triggered flow after save. Let's go into that. So it's a very simple flow. Whenever a record created, whenever a record is created or updated uh, of the object case and the status equals closed, we're going to create a survey event record. And Creating a survey event record is also very simple, like creating a custom object record. We need to pass the val values that we need into uh, the fields. And in this case, because we are using a record triggered flow after save flow, we are going to use dollar record values to pass uh, into our survey event record. So this is an active flow right now. And our second flow is going to be flow create survey, which is also very simple. It listens to the survey event. It's a platform event triggered flow and sends a very simple email. I haven't really set up a sophisticated survey uh, logic here. It just sends an email and asks for a score uh, from the customer that rates their satisfaction. And it's using the dollar record email to send this survey to, which is coming from the platform event. Let's see this in action. 
okay we have a user called uh, Andy and uh, if I go into the details I just want to point out to you that the description field is here empty uh, on the contact record because I'm going to update that as a result of the survey let's go and create a case with the contact Andy and save this one and let's assume we worked on this and now the case needs to be closed and save so as soon as we close the case uh, a survey email should have been sent out to the associated contact let's check whether our contact record has been updated with the description yes the description is survey sent and we are using an email address on the mailinator platform a test email address to send the survey to as you can see our survey has been sent This is the email address we're using for this purpose. Now I have deactivated all the active flows I have created. Let's build this flow together. It's important to point out that um, you can create as many record triggered flows as you want that are uh, launched based on various different objects being created or updated. I'm just showing you the case example right now. So let's go ahead and create this flow together. So we want to start this flow when a record is created or updated after the record is saved because um, we need to create an associated object record. Now, let's choose the object. This is going to run on the case object. And we want this to run uh, whenever status equals to closed. And what we are going to do is we are going to create a survey event. We are going to create a survey event. And Let's pass the dollar record contact contact ID to the contact ID field of the survey event. And email should also come from a dollar record email. Um, I have also first name and last name fields, but in this simple example, they are not necessary. Um, and I'm going to save my flow. Let's call this flow create survey event, save. And activate. Now I need to create the platform event triggered flow. 
I need to choose my platform event. The event uh, objects are uh, ending with E on the platform. And I want to send out an email Please, the body is going to say, please rate your satisfaction level. Reply with a score one through five. Five is the highest. And the subject is going to say customer satisfaction survey. And email address is going to come from dollar record email. And let's say the sender address, sender address is going to be Andy Demo at mailinator.com. Mm, I forgot to name it. So I connect the two elements together, save. I was also updating the description field on the contact to see whether I sent out the survey email or not. Let's skip that part, make it simple. Let's go back to our Andy contact. Let's clean the description field for now. We're not really updating it with this new flow. Um, let's create a new case and close it. and see if we received an email. And yes, as you can see, our previous flow was sending out an email titled survey with the subject line survey. And this one says customer satisfaction survey. It works. Let's go one step further. Um, let's say we want to send out surveys to a subset of our customers randomly, not to all of them. How can we achieve that? Now, I went back and activated my original flow examples that I have created before the recording. Now here I have the record triggered flow after save flow. Let me go into that. And I have built a logic, a decision element in here that checks whether a gate uh, resource contains the key or not. So there is a criteria that needs to be satisfied for the platform event to be created. And what does that actually do? Now let's look uh, into the formula key. This is essentially a random, random number generator that I have created from the last modified date field. Uh, the time and date value in Salesforce ends up with an alphanumeric character. And right before that, you have the seconds. Now, this is converting the time into text and then taking the right two characters 
um, the last one I want to ditch and then it's using the left one uh, left character of the last two which is the uh, second uh, digit uh, of the last modified date so let's say we have modified this record and the second was showing 39 and uh, I'm extracting here the digit 9 and this is going to yield uh, a random digit 0 through 9 for me and I'm taking that number and I'm checking whether this number is contained in here which is a constant that I have built into my flow and it includes 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 so it's half of the digits of 0 through 9 so I'm going to be creating a survey event 50% of the time randomly for the survey to be sent out so if you wanted to send out surveys to only 20% then you would only include two digits in there so it would be 20% of the time that the survey will be sent out to and uh, you could be uh, sending out surveys also for address change on the contact and you maybe you want to send only 10% of the time and in which case you would only include one digit in your gate um, constant let's see how that works um, let's go back to our Andy contact check one more time that the description field is empty yes it's empty create a case for Andy save close that case now I included on my case page layout the same formula so that I can check whether uh, an email was supposed to be sent out or not so this number is showing one one is uh, one of those digits that I have included in gate so an email should have been sent out let's see my contact record whenever an email is sent out the contact description is updated and it says survey is sent and let's check the email address that I'm sending the surveys to as you can see moments ago which means almost now like a couple uh, seconds ago an email was received for a survey So um, this concludes our example. Enjoy.